telling you when to get up and when to shower and when to go to bed and when to walk. Right. Yeah. Now that 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 must have been for someone who was in in the position that you were, mm -hmm. with all the fame and success that you had. Well, it, it was it was quite a you know it was a big drastic change, but it's something I really I really needed. You know, mm -hmm. Keenan. I, I mean, <clears throat> I, you know, in, in my career when I when I started, everything cocaine and 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 partying was such a big part of, of that whole era that I came right. up in. Where to us, it, everything it was always all right. You know, it was always right, all right to do coke, and and we well, you know how it was. It was it was it was it was insane. That was part of the uh, was part of the culture. <clears throat> and, and me being such an extremist, I got really carried away. You know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to live this Rick James image, you know, right. and, of this wild, crazy person. You know, my real name is James Johnson, and um, so he's a lot different than this Rick James persona. Right. And uh, I ended up smoking coke free basin and then doing crack. And I moved out here, <clears throat> and I brought this house that used to be owned by Mickey Roney. It's a gorgeous house. I sat on a hill. And uh, my mother was dying of cancer at the time. She, just, she passed away about four years ago. And as you know, my mother was the closest thing to me in the world. So basically what I did was stay up in this house and just isolate myself. Stayed in a room and uh, just smoked coke 24 hours, 24-7, uh, you know, and uh, the house was always filled with women coming in and out. And it was kind of, um, I reverted back to a stage of, of you know, total degradation where I was just in this room all the time getting high and girls coming in and out all the time. No, there's no, nothing, no, no ain't nothing See, fly about, no. No, nothing yeah. fly about it. And nothing fly, fly about it. <clears throat> and girls coming in and out and sex happening, you know, a lot of that. And, um, you know, pimps and hoes and all that kind of thing. So one, so one morning, this girlfriend of mine brought this girl to my place. And, there was, you know, the girl was fairly attractive. I mean, I was so high, I didn't know anyway, you know. It was like, and sex happened. And she stayed there for a while. And she, well, she stayed there for about three weeks, two and a half, three weeks. And then she left. And she came back, and she was like, little pipe burns were on her and, and, and all this, you know. So, you know, I looked at her, you know, wow. She said, well, my man was mad at me for staying over here too, you know, too long. You, you got a man, you know. You, I didn't know that, you know. And um, he was a vicious pimp. And it all came up in court, but in court it was like he was buried away and the focus was on Rick James. Right. So all you people who believe the torture story and the Marquis decide and the sex and all that wild stuff, it sounds really great, but no, it didn't happen. Okay. Well... We're glad that you were able to take that experience, turn your life around, make something positive. The new stuff sounds great. The yeah. album is Urban Rhapsody. The album is Urban Rhapsody. It comes um, out October 12th. 14th. 14th, all right. We got some great people. Snoop Dogg, Bobby Womack. Uh, they'll go get it. You guys check it out. Rick James, we'll be back right after this.